You may have heard more people tend to have strokes during the holiday season, but they can happen at any time. The key to surviving a stroke is to act quickly. In tonight's Heart of the Gulf segment, see why a Gulf Shores couple is determined to spread that message. Wayne and Kim Robertson walk hand in hand through the halls of South Baldwin Regional Medical Center in Foley. A very different scene played out here just a few weeks ago. Once I got here, I mean, it was, it was. <coughs> when brought here by ambulance. I'd look at my hand and try to move my fingers, just move a thumb, move a finger, whatever. Wayne couldn't move the left side of his body, no matter how hard he tried. I was just sitting there looking at my arm, telling my finger to move. I wanted some kind of hope out of that. And it did nothing. I had tingling in my shoulder when I did that. When I would try to move my toes, the same thing. I would have tingling in my hip, but it would not move. It was very traumatic for me, very difficult to watch. Her husband of 43 years was having a stroke, but after following guidelines set out by the American Heart Association, the staff administered a clot-busting drug called tissue plasminogen activator, or TPA, to clear Wayne's blockage. The results, amazing. Within 30 seconds, I started getting feeling back, and then my arm just popped up. What was it like when you saw his arm go up? For me, it was just unbelievable that it happened that fast. I guess I had been sitting there so long telling it to move that it just remembered it was supposed to do something. Within seconds, he moved his arm. The whole ER erupted <clears throat> in joy and high fives and clapping, and that's when it hit me of how bad off I was, how bad off I could have been, when they were that excited to see success, because they've seen it not succeed. He had his stroke on Saturday at 4 o'clock. By Sunday at 3 in the afternoon, we were home. And he could move again? He could move. He was fine. There was no, you couldn't tell anything had ever happened to him. I really can't say enough about South Baldwin and the nurses here that have, were by my side. Um, didn't know him before, but we're lifelong friends now. Mr. Robertson received the clot-busting drug within two hours of having symptoms. The first few hours are crucial for survival. You have to act fast to remember the system, the symptoms, that is, think fast, F-A-S-T. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. For more information on strokes, find this story on WKRG.com.